In a simple way, you could say that life is a self-sustaining chemical reaction network. Living systems produce their own components through self-regulated chemical reactions. These components maintain the functionality of that reaction network as a whole. Autocatalytic sets are a formalization of that notion and they are also believed to have played an important role in the origin of life. My colleagues and I have studied such autocatalytic sets both mathematically and with computer simulations and also applied the theory to real chemical reaction networks. The KLI provides a unique environment for me to continue this research, uh, also in collaboration with actual experimental chemists. Another thing that I would like to do while I'm here is to try to expand the theory beyond chemistry into areas such as ecology and economics. My name is Wim Hordijk. I'm a senior fellow here at the KLI. Even though these two ways of making segments are as different as can be, it seems quite easy for evolution to switch between one and another. What makes some biological system an individual? Is it the capacity to undergo selection? Or is it some form of physiological integration? 